My channel my name is Melina and today I'm going to be talking about my reading travel essentials or travel reading essentials you'll see let's get into it so if you saw last week's video you would know I recently went on a trip to the Grand Canyon which was amazing we had so much fun and I was on planes and in road trips from Vegas to the Grand Canyon and I camped there and so I had quite a bit of downtime, so I definitely wanted to read while I was on vacation. But I have some tips for you, some things that I've learned over the years. Um, if you didn't know, I own a travel company, it's called Miles and Memories Travel. And I've done a ton of traveling, and of course I always have a book with me. So these are some of the tips that I've picked up. Number one, get yourself a Kindle. Specifically, I like the Kindle Paperwhite. It's it's really small and the thing that I like best is that you can read it outside and there's no weird glare and it doesn't give you a headache um, and it's really compact and the battery life is awesome. So Kindle, definitely the way to go. Just make sure you remember your charger. And I also like this case, so it's a hard plastic case that you flip open and you read like that. When I travel, I like to include a soft case too. It just makes me feel a little bit better because even if you have this in your carry-on, inevitably it's gonna get banged around a little bit, you might drop it. I just like to have another soft case, and this, it does sort of slip out, but honestly it has like a little bit of grip on the inside, so I, I really like this. It's by BookBow. Um, I got it at a convention, and I really liked it a lot on this last trip. It was my first trip with it, and I felt like my Kindle was a little bit more protected. So, recommend that for sure. Then, the other thing, is I always carry glasses. I sometimes need them if I have a headache or things like that, but my biggest tip would be bring a glasses case because I forgot my glasses case and I'm about 85% sure that these are scratched like none other now. And they weren't before I left because if you're not a full-time glasses wearer, you know, honestly, even if you are and you don't normally use a case, bring one with you while you're traveling. You will not regret it because I found myself like trying to set my glasses places that I was worried they wouldn't fall off and that I couldn't find them and you know tossing them in my purse and normally I work from home and I you know these are just sitting on a desk if I'm not actively wearing them and I also wore my contacts a little bit too when I was there so it was one of those I'm not a full-time glasses wearer but I like to have them around it was just just bring a glasses case I know it sounds so simple but man man these poor things luckily they're not expensive but still I would say my final tip besides keeping your charger handy, bring a old paperback book. Now this is just Janet Ivanovich, 7 Up, it's a Stephanie Plum novel, side note, great series if you haven't read them. It's about um, a lingerie saleswoman who gets laid off and becomes a bounty hunter and doesn't know what she's doing. And it's really funny and it's like a crime novel but also a comedy and they're just fun. There's like 25 of them or something in the series, but anyway. The point is you want to bring an old paperback book. One paperback so that you can shove it in your bag a little bit easier and old because every time I travel with a book it gets bent or messed up and I hate when I get a brand new book that I'm excited to read it, it ends up bent. Even if I try really hard to like keep it nice and keep it in a special pouch I personally think I would rather save the nice book for when I'm home or take extra special care you know like find an extra spot but I like bringing an old favorite or picking up a new book from a used bookstore so that it already is a little bit dented and you don't feel bad about it getting messed up. It just, I don't know, I hate to be the one that messes up like a brand new beautiful book. So I left behind, like I just got a copy of The Alienist and I'm really excited about it, but I chose to leave it behind so that it wouldn't get messed up. And I brought an old paperback and I downloaded a new book on my Kindle so you still get the new material without having to worry about, you know, messing it up right away. So. Those are my main tips if you are a reader and you absolutely love to travel. Some of those are obviously common sense, but some of them you're like, should do that. At least that's how it was for me. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.